And Trump has signed an executive order to crack down on the censorship of social media companies. My executive order calls for new regulations under Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act to make it that social media companies that engage in censoring or any political conduct will not be able to keep their liability shield. That's a big deal. They have a shield. They can do what they want. They have a shield. They're not going to have that shield. The president's dispute with Twitter escalated this week after the social media giant flagged one of his tweets for the first time for potentially misleading information about mail-in ballots. Legal experts have expressed doubts that the president can do much by himself without an act of Congress. Tonight, News 6 investigates the truth about the president's claims about mail-in ballots. President Trump says they will lead to fraud despite the evidence. News 6 investigator Louis Bolden put the president's comments through our trust index. Louis? Well, Lisa, we spoke to the longtime supervisor of elections here in Orange County who says voting by mail has been around for years and is safe. Earlier this week, President Trump tweeted about voting by mail. There is no way, zero, that mail-in ballots will be anything less than substantially fraudulent, the president wrote. Do you feel voting by mail is safe? Absolutely. Bill Cowles has been the supervisor of elections in Orange County for nearly 25 years. The issues about fraud and all that has almost become a campaign tool to uh, scare people. The president wrote, mailboxes will be robbed, ballots will be forged, and even illegally printed out and fraudulently signed. For the first time, Twitter added a link under the president's tweets, urging users to get the facts about mail-in ballots. It linked to news articles and experts that call the president's claim unsubstantiated. Bottom line is, all statistics show that the documented, proven cases of fraud in election is such a small fraction of uh, like 0.0025%. Cowell says in Florida, ballots are only mailed after a registered voter requests them. He says voters can fill out the ballots at home, then return them by mail or drop them off at early voting sites or hand deliver them to the elections office. Don't give your ballot to anybody you don't know. That's the bottom line. That's the safest way is taking responsibility for your ballot. Also, Florida voter records show the president has voted by mail and his press secretary, Kaylee McEnany, who also criticized mail-in ballots, voted by mail a dozen times in the past 10 years, according to CBS News. We give the president's comments that mail-in ballots will be substantially fraudulent. Not true on the trust index. Now, currently, there are five states that conduct all of their elections entirely by mail, and 21 other states have mail-in options for some elections. Reporting live downtown Orlando, I'm Lewis Bolden, getting results, News 6.